Pregnenolone sulfate in a woman is like the flip side of allopregnenolone. Allopregnenolone, you feel relaxed, lofty, softy, everything's wonderful. Pregnenolone sulfate, it is um, with alacrity. It It is a pro-anxiety agent, okay? It goes to the same receptor, the GABA receptor, and modulates you more to or anxi towards anxiety. The thing is, is everything in your body has to have a balance, pro-growth, inhibiting growth. You know, it goes, everything needs a balance here. With that said, this anxiety needs something to kind of trigger the other direction. The, uh, the GABA receptor is anti-anxiety. You need to have something kind of the other way. And anxiety is not evil. It's just when it's a standalone thing pushing you down a place where you're not able to be at peace in your life, it's not good. A little bit of anxiety can be motivating. It wouldn't be in your brain if it didn't serve a purpose. Let's put it that way. In terms of pregnenolone sulfate and the way that it works in the brain with the anxiety receptors, it helps you learn. Pregnenolone sulfate plays a huge role with your ability to consolidate information and learn. It's, it's a big thing. And there's a lot of research in that area, not about women's brain chemistry, but it is all about understanding how pregnenolone sulfate can help with learning. So pregnenolone sulfate plays a role with learning. It's a really cool thing for that. But when it's too high, it will trigger anxiety. It's just, just severe anxiety in people. So, so where we understand this more deeply is understanding PMDD. Now, this is something that sees in PMDD. And PMDD, as I mentioned in the episode, it does have a lot of crossover with what I'm talking about today with, with uh, women reverse responders. So women of PMDD, we know, have high levels of pregnenolone sulfate. They tend to push that pathway too hard. So what we would want to do then as your physician, and again, there's no good studies on this, not enough. There's not really good labs I can use testing pregnenolone sulfate. This is the time when I come to the room with a woman and I say, this is what I have to work with. These are things you want to do. So the first thing I want to do is try and slow down the conversion of pregnenolone to pregnenolone sulfate. I want to slow that pathway down. How do we do that? Diet. Diet works as supplements. Flavonoids in the food that you eat. Um, we found flavonoids are found in green tea, dark chocolate, apples, blackberries, cherries. You see quercetin that's found in onions, apples, berries again, broccoli, kale. I don't like kale. I don't like kale. You don't have to eat kale. I'm not going to prescribe you kale. <laughs> but green tea I do like. And buckwheat we do, do well with. 